when we will decrease the resistance the frequency will increase assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome back to my channel friends this is our second video for tl494 practical circuit how we can program tl494 to take a frequency in this configuration i designed for push pull operation we are taking two signal which are opposite to each other we can see channel a channel b this time i connected pin number 4 that is dead time control to the ground so this ic will provide automatically 3% dead time that is gap between the both channels that is by default 3% of the duty cycle between both channels when this channel will turn off after 3% of duty cycle the second channel will start when it will second will stop the first will turn on again after that dead time so it will protect it will prevent both mosfets will not switch at a time because if high side and low side mosfet will turn on the same time that will make a short circuit so the collapsing magnetic field will discharge from the other mosfet so it is by default 3% we can increase it how we can calculate we will discuss in detail in this configuration basically we are controlling the charging time of this capacitor that is ct and we use rt so this ic can program from 1 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz and we have to select the resistor value of rt and ct rt at pin number 6 ct at pin number 5 so in this configuration i connected a capacitor 1 nanofarad capacitor at pin number 5 and in calculation there was 18.33 kilo ohm but i connected 20 kilo ohm resistance so i am taking 29.76 kilohertz at each channel so we can say this ic is switching at 60 kilohertz if you want to calculate the output frequency of push pull which will opposite to each other the both output transistors in that case we will calculate 1.1 divided by 2 rtct if you want to use this configuration as a push pull in that case pin number 13 of this ic will be connected to pin number 14 we can say output control pin will connected to pin number 14 13 14 15 and number 2 pin will connected to the reference voltage that is pin number 14 pin number 7 1 16 and pin number 4 is connected to ground number 4 is dead time we connected it to ground seven number pin that is the biasing ground now for ct value we can select 0.47 nanofarad to 10000 nanofarad 0.01 microfarad the ct value the capacitor value 0.47 nano to 10000 nano we can say 0.47 nanofarad to 0.01 microfarad and the resistor value 1.8 kilo ohm that is rt value it can be selected from 1.8 kilo ohm to 500 kilo ohm now i am taking in this configuration 20 kilo ohm and 1 nanofarad 30 kilohertz now i am increasing the resistance i connected a potentiometer in series with these resistors 20 kilo ohm resistor we can see the frequency is decreasing now now the frequency is at each channel 5.7 kilohertz 5 and 5 10 kilohertz for the satoshi wave of this capacitor when we will decrease the resistance the frequency will increase
when we will decrease the resistance the frequency increased when we increase the resistance when we will increase the resistance actually what we are doing we are controlling the charging time of this capacitor so the frequency will decrease and this potentiometer is for feedback it is to simulate feedback we can select as a positive feedback as a negative feedback we can see both channels from minimum duty cycle to maximum duty cycle then there is another option we have dead time control that is pin number 4 if you apply 0 volt to 0.4 volt so it will remain in 3% dead time but if I opened it this time this IC will disable it will disable in off state we have to connect ground to pin number 4 or we have to apply less than 3 volt at pin number 4 so the lower value will decrease the dead time above 3 volt if we apply 3 volt on this pin this IC will go in disabled state so we have to connect ground or the controlled voltage that is dead time control to pin number 4 and now we will see the calculations select maximum on time each output that is dead time at pin number 4 R1 and R2 dead time for one channel and we can calculate the maximum dead time or we can cal calculate dead time TD RT CT this is dead time how much we need 5% multiplied by 0.35 R2 here we can select the R2 value so in this way we can calculate also the dead time and in this way R2 value and R1 value it should not more than 5 kilo ohm R1 plus R2 5 kilo ohm if we will increase this we have to decrease this one in both cases we have to select 5 kilo ohm resistance for this to give a sync current to dead time pin so we have to select how much sync current we need 2 microampere to 10 microampere we can select as per our requirement we have to check the data sheet in this configuration it is push pull operation in this push pull operation pin number 13 is connected to V reference if we will connect pin number 13 to 0 or less than 0.4 volt in that case the both transistors will switch together in this condition our each output pin pin 11 and 10 8 and 9 so it will give so it will give 200 1 milliampere to 250 milliampere output current but in this configuration that is single ended in this configuration both transistors will work together and we will take the maximum output frequency which is the RTCT frequency sort of wave so let's connect it now we have 29.41 kilohertz frequency in the output here we have 29.41 kilohertz while we have sixty kilohertz frequency at this pin that is pin number six sorry pin number five for CT pin 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so we will disconnect pin number 13 from the V reference I disconnected pin number 13 from the I will connect the pin number 13 that is output control to the ground to shift this IC in single ended operation now we can see the output frequency reached 60 kilohertz 59.5 and the both channels are switching together 
now the duty cycle is reaching from minimum to maximum this is minimum and it is maximum I connected pin number 13 to the ground so now we can utilize the maximum duty cycle from minimum to maximum but if we use in push pull in that case the duty cycle will limited up to 45 percent now we are getting the full frequency that is 59 kilohertz and if you connect pin number 13 to the v reference in that case we will receive half frequency of the sort of wave that is generated on the ct pin now both tra transistors are in parallel we are taking just only one output on both channels so it is internally taking the same command on each channel we can calculate the charging current of this capacitor to take sort of wave to calculate the charging current we will use 3 volt because the comparator level comparator is working at 3 volt 3 volt divided by RT RT value as, as I discussed we can utilize 1.8 kilo ohm to 500 kilo ohms we will take the charging current then we can calculate the charging time for the capacitor so it is we can say 3 volt multiplied by CT how much capacitor value we are using 0.47 nanofarad to 10,000 nanofarad and we have to select the available capacitor which capacitor is available so we have to put the value of the capacitor here then I charge this charging current this value we will put here and then we can take the time when we will find the time period so frequency is 1 over t so we can calculate the frequency or the frequency oscillator frequency 1 over rt ct or we can say 1.1 rt ct we can use this formula or we can use this formula the both formulas are same in calculation it will give a slight difference but it will the same now we can calculate the resistor value to find the RT value 1 over F oscillator multiplied by CT CT value how much capacitor value we calculated it here we can calculate how much frequency we need if I have 1 nanofarad capacitor so I can select the resistor value if I have 1 nanofarad capacitor put 1 nanofarad how much frequency I need we will put frequency value here the resistor value for the pin number 6 we can find here so it is the easiest calculation this frequency will output frequency in single ended part if we want to calculate for push pull in that case 1.1 2RT CT because the frequency will divided by 2 or we can calculate simply divide the output frequency by 2 if we will connect pin number 13 to the V reference so friends, I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.